everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i do all things baby today i'm going to be doing a review on the love every play kit box this is the thank you mama the thinker box which is 12 to sorry 11 to 12 months i've previously done thank you i've previously done a review on the explorer box which i will link down below so you guys can go check it out so without further ado let's get started Thank you. Oh. Okay, so let me start by giving you guys a background on why we decided to go to, for the Love Every Play Kit subscription. So this is a subscription, but you can also buy the boxes separately. I know that the cost is lower. It's still in the high price, but it's still lower if you subscribe, if you pay up front for the whole 24 months, which is this subscription, or you can also buy the boxes separately but it becomes a little bit more expensive if you do it that way. So hopefully with this videos that I'm doing, these reviews, you guys will be able to make a decision if you guys want to go for the subscription, ugh, for the subscription or just buy boxes specifically. So let me start by giving you guys a background on why we decided to go with the subscription. Um, so the main thing was, okay, we said that the, the cost of this subscription is pretty high. How much are we thinking on spending Ay, mommy, that's heavy. This hurts. So how much are we thinking to uh, spend on a on a monthly basis on toys for Olivia or new stages? Like how much money are we actually going to spend for the 24 months that she um, that the, this box subscription is? Like if it's around the same amount of money that we will be paying for the subscription, he said, listen, let's go for the subscription. That way we will save our time from buying different toys that we don't even know about. Um, also, I don't know if I, I think I did mention this in my last video. These boxes come with the booklet included that will tell you what milestones your baby should be achieving, what, um, what new skills these boxes will basically encourage your child to, um, develop. Uh, so we really, really enjoyed that. Since we said, okay, we're not going to go to the store and just get whatever toy that's like six months and plus or 12 months and plus, because we really wanted to make sure that we knew what we were giving the child that was actually going to help her really create um, new development experiences. We wanted to make sure that we provide her the very best. So hopefully with these videos, you guys will be able to pick and choose which boxes you guys want. If the subscription is the route that you guys want to go to. Um, this is not a paid spot, uh, review. I'm not. I'm giving you my honest opinion on what we enjoyed about these boxes, and I will let you know at the end of the video if I like this specific box or not. If if I think you could you could have skipped it. Um, everything that I'm gonna show. If you guys can find another route of getting these specific toys, thank you. To teach your child the same exact thing, by all means. I mean, I'm here to try to save you guys as much money as I can because I know. Uh, when I started, when I first had Olivia, I wanted to save as much as I could. If, an Afri if I can avoid buying certain stuff that weren't necessary, by all means I would. So that's why I want to try, like I've decided to try all these items for you guys. So you guys can actually go from there. And if you, if it's something that you guys really want for your kids, well, for sure you can go ahead and purchase it. So without further ado, let's get started with the main thing that I loved about the box. Which is what Olivia's trying to break right now. Watch out, mama. Thank you. The box will come with a booklet, as I mentioned, that will indicate so what and when should they achieve something, for example. So it will tell you by around 11 months, your baby should be sitting and then crawling. So she should be in line like, around that time that she's doing that. She should be able to stay balance while sitting. Uh, understand more and more what is being said to her uh, at 12 months so it, since it's an 11 to 12 month box you have both months included so the stages that she should be in so for 12 months for example she will respond to simple requests and gestures like waving bye bye reaching his arm to be lifted etc so all these items that will mention to you what your baby should be achieving yes my mom which I really enjoyed. The next section of, on this booklet is basically pay, play things. So play ideas that you can do with everything that's included in the box. Um, it also includes, so after you, if you've done a calendar, so for example, uh, day one, she's gonna learn how to stack these wood stacking stones or another, uh, let's say, 
uh, way to play with these is just for her to be making noises with it. So basically the book will tell you the main things that she should be doing and more activities that you can play with um, the items inside the box. Here, do you want this? Not for your mouth. This is, if you guys can find something similar to this, this mini book was, it is still a lifesaver. For her, when she became really active and moving and crawling and everything, changing diapers was a nightmare. I'm not joking, guys. Changing her diaper was crazy because she would move. She didn't want to change her diaper. I would have pee all over my house because she would literally skate from where I was changing her. So it was, it was not a good experience. When I got this book in this box, it's a little tiny book. It fits perfectly in her hands. And she's literally entertained, pretending to read the book, but she's really just looking at the images until I'm done. It really takes me less than a minute to change her diaper, but I really needed something for her to focus on. And this was it. I really, really enjoyed it. If you guys can find a mini book to put in your diaper bag, put one next to her changing station. It's going to be a lifesaver. Believe me. Comment down below if you do use it now. I didn't know that. There's a tip. Another item that was included in the box is these baby Avery. <laughs> this little doll here is gender neutral. Um, even though it kind of looks like a boy, but this is supposed to help her with, or your baby with their imagination. You know, uh, the, the older she gets, the more she will identify this as a, another little person and it will take care of it and whatnot. Olivia right now, she did, she was into it the first, I'll say, week that she got this toy she will carry it everywhere whenever she was in her walker she will put it on top and just walk him everywhere she will put a blanket on top of him and then i guess she lost interest mm -hmm. and then baby avery has been lost oh the case okay for mama you want your baby again oh <laughs> well now she's back into it but for a good while she stopped playing with it I guess because she has so many stuffed animals that mm. we have to start rotating them. So yeah, this is kind of this is supposed to encourage her to expand her imagination, you know, be her little friend. So I really really liked it. Um, it was included in the box. Okay, so another item that was included in the box is this small wallet and her big spender credit cards or debit cards. Um, if you if your baby's like Olivia, she loves to play with my wallet and sometimes it's not very sanitary because I literally take my wallet everywhere. So this was a perfect replacement of it. So it comes with about four cards. It even has a band in the back. So she knows it's a real thing. And it also comes with little wooden coins. So you can teach it one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, there's only four. This is great for grasping, like it's perfect for her little hands. And she can just put it in her pocket and she literally carries this, carry, like we carry this in her diaper bag. So when I take out my wallet, she has her wallet and she learns the concept of having a wallet and having money and paying. So I really enjoy this little thing. Another item that was, so this will be considered three different items. So the coins, the credit cards, and the little pouch or the little wallet. You like your little wallet? She also tries to zip it, like zip it open, but it's still, she's still too young for it. But I, I've noticed because she's seen the repetition of it, she tries to do it, which is a good thing. Okay, another item that was included in her box, which I think if I have to pick what will be the only items that would, I will pick from the box, one of them will be these two balls. Um, another one will be the um, small book and then the wallet. There's a lot of cool stuff in here, okay? So the next items are these two balls. They're identical, but the difference between these is one's very light and the other one's super heavy. You can't see, but if I throw it out, you can hear it. These were perfect. These are perfect for her bath time. She has a lot of toys in her bath, so we try to rotate them just like we do here. We rotate the toys so she doesn't really get bored and she, she continues to practice her skills. So, Olivia, Toma, you want a credit card? What do you want to pay? Toma, mommy. 
these ones also they not only do they teach her the concept of light and heavy but also floating and sinking so whenever you're not in the water it's basically that she'll know that this one is super light and this one's pretty heavy and when you're in the water she'll know that this one will float and this one will sink so another thing that was included in the box which i really enjoyed because i love the detailing of it is this sliding box can i borrow this for a second so this box just slides from side to side like this it comes with a yellow bowl included i just don't i just don't have it with me right now i don't know what she put it but essentially this helps with coordination problem solving she enjoys that box because not only does she just put the ball in there and tries to take it out but she also puts any small objects like the wooden coins that was included in this box she just puts it in slides the the little um top part takes it out does that again so i really enjoy that because i think oh i hope i wish you guys can see her slide it look mama Like for example, this kind of toy is a bit more difficult to find it out there. A lot of items you can really replace and just find it uh, in other stores, but this one, just the detailing of it and the concept, it's a bit more difficult. So this this is what made the box worth it. And the other items I did mention, are you okay? Another item that was included in the box is this pincer puzzle. This helps her with the concept of pincer grasping. So just grabbing it with her little two fingers like this. This helps her with her motor and fine skills. So she really enjoys this one. Olivia, do you wanna grab this bubble? She's just really into her wallet right now. Another item that she enjoyed, which I already showed you guys, are these wood stones. So it will help her, oops, in time she will be able to stack them like so. I think when they first start, they will just stack it in twos and then afterwards they will be able to stack all four. I can't even stack them all. Um, but that's when she gets a bit older. Right now what she does, she just stacks them into two, but she also loves to bring them. The last item that was included in this box is the Silly Song book. It's literally all the little bites, all the songs that you know that exists for kids. They're literally summarized in this little book. I'm a pro of changing words to every song, not only baby songs, any like type of music that I listen to. I For some reason, I just can't remember the words, so I try to put whatever I think might be the word. So this really helped me. It has all songs from It's Raining, It's Pouring, I'm a Little Teapot. They have songs like Pat a Cake, Wheels on the Bus, all those fun stuff. So this was real cool. I like it that, that it's thin. So I try to carry this in her diaper bag whenever I'm not gonna be staying home, if we're gonna be staying at a grandparents' house or whatnot. So I like this a lot. If not, I will put it next to her bed whenever it's bedtime. We try to have a little songs and whatnot. So I really, really enjoyed this. So those are all the items that are included in this box. Would I say I would have skipped this box? Maybe, like if I could have saved some money, I probably would have skipped this box just because the previous box had so much in it, which I love. And most of these items, you can really replace what you can find in your store. Um, the next box, which is the 13, 14, 15 month, month box that she's currently working on, I love that box. Like the next video is coming out on this uh, series. You guys will see what was included in that specific box. That for me was worth it. If you guys can skip this box, I will definitely do. I mean, I love the items. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Like for example, these, like you can tell that they, it was worth the money. Um, but as I said, you can easily find replacements uh, at any store. Whatever you guys can find, any anything similar to it, by all means, replace them. And just as long as your baby, your shoe. As long as you encourage your baby to develop those skills, for example, where is the pencil pistol? Like this, something similar to this, or just stacking. You can stack whatever, as long as it's making noise and it stacks. Um, what else? The small little book, I've never seen that tiny little book anywhere. That's why I said for me that was worth it. Um, but for sure you can definitely find it. Oh, she's about to move the camera. 
So I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys wanna get more details on it, I will uh, link them down below. Uh, I know, I know Love Every does give a, not a detail of what specifically each item is used for, but just the title of it. But you guys can always check it out online. Um, the concept of how they build these boxes it's in their website, so as long as you kind of mimic the same thing and if you can find, uh, how do you call these, replacements for it, by all means, for sure, go ahead and do that. So I, go, I hope you guys like this video. She's about to unplug my camera. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.